is Ben. It's nice to nice to meet you in this virtual space. <laughs> um, thanks for making the time for us. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to be here. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Um, well, uh, first of all, congrats on season three of Cobra Kai. So many fans out there. Um, I've recently caught up on the show. Um, and your performance as this character, Robbie Keane, um, really, really excellent stuff. And a lot for any actor to play with. You kill it. Um, so I'd love to hear just a bit more about how he came to be. Um, just for starters, these last three years, now going into season four, what's been the best part about bringing him to the screen? Um, I feel as though some of the best parts of, I guess, bringing Robbie to life is the fact of, like, he, in my opinion, obviously, I'm sympathizing with him, but I feel like he has one of the most complicated stories mm -hmm. um, and complicated lives. Uh, you know, his dad left him when uh, he wasn't even, uh, he was born, right? Which is a big thing. Now his mm -hmm. mom has really never, ever been there for him uh, through his entire life. He's tried to find his own family and what the right path is. And he's never had that, those parental, that parental guidance there that a lot of people mm -hmm. do. I mean, I even look at like a character like Miguel, absolutely, he's never had his dad either, which is, you know, mm -hmm. that's super great about his character. However, his mom has always been there. Not only that, he has his grandmother as well. Mm -hmm. um, Sam's character has, you know, her mom and her dad. She's had a pretty great life. But everyone, you know, everyone has their own, <laughs> has their own problems. But I think his story is probably the most complicated um, and that's what's been great because you can add so many different layers. Um, and I guess getting into the stories with, with all the writers and the creators as well, um, it just, it, it honestly keeps getting more and more complicated, which I love. It, mm -hmm. It's a challenge for me and it, and it allows me to do a lot more research and a lot more character work, which is very fun. It's part mm -hmm. of the job. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's probably one of the best parts is the fact of like, I feel like I have so many ways to go with this character because of what he's gone through and the layers that he has uh, and the complicated life he's had for the past 17 years, 16, 17 years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially looking to this most recent season, I think uh, we had a lot of surprises for the character as far as his journey and kind of his development into eventually at the end of the season, that line is in the sand. He is on the other side. Um, and yeah. uh, definitely gives you a lot to play with. I mean, a lot of character work and interesting things to dive into. Um, in addition to that, what does it look like physically to prepare for the role? Have you ever done anything like this before that was so physically demanding? <laughs> Not at all. No. No. And, and <laughs> that's, that's the crazy thing is I think a lot of people don't realize, I mean, all the fighting, a lot of it is, you know, 90 to 95% of it is us. Right. And we work really, really hard to make sure that we can get this down. Um, and just as much work as it goes into the acting, we're probably putting, if the same amount, if not more into the fighting, mm -hmm. because it's such, I mean, it's it's a show that revolves around you know all the all the training and the karate so you have to put the time in that and and i know we do because even when we're learning fights we'll take time even on the weekends a lot of times we're just spending hours if we have a fight coming up on a monday you know we're coming in saturday and sunday and working hours to make sure that we have that down mm -hmm. but at the same time also trying to make sure that we have our lines down and, and we're getting what we want and we're prepared on Monday. So we really, it's while we're shooting, it's basically no time off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're working seven days a week, um, training as much as you possibly can. Uh, if you're not shooting, you're preparing for a fight or training or working on lines and it just doesn't stop. You wake up at like 7 a.m. in the morning. For me personally, I know I wake up at like 7 a.m. and I'm usually not done till about 10 p.m. at night. And yeah. then I have about an hour to relax, go to bed, and then it starts all over again. So how do you feel now getting ready for, I mean, season four production, that's in a month or so, right? You're about to get started? Yes. Yeah, we're... So um, I'm sure this has been a nice break, but now you're going back into it, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah, I mean, me personally, I, I, 
I pretty much run that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like to stay busy. I don't like to have a lot of time off. I, 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 uh, I get bored very easily and I always want to make sure I'm doing at least something. So, you know, prepping and making sure that I'm training and, and trying to prepare and stretch and, uh, specifically for season four um i am excited about season four because there was just this there's this whole new trying to figure out without giving anything away sure. um <laughs> but there's there's a whole new realm uh of kind of storyline for me to play with mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and i basically I, i've spent the past few weeks actually doing all this character work and I've got to talk to the creators of where I, you know, where they're going, what we're going to do. And it's, I'm actually very excited about it because there's, there's a whole new bunch of stuff that I got, uh, that I'm going to get to do this season, uh, specifically with the character. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited about it. Good stuff. Good stuff. I mean, what, what is that? We're speaking for backstage, of course, and some of the people joining us in the audience today are the working actors of the world. Um, I'd love to hear a bit about what that character work looks like. When you're alone with your script, um, how do you kind of go about finding the emotional beats, building the character, and uh, ultimately to what we see on screen? Yeah, and that's the thing is like, everyone's gonna have their own thing, right? Mm -hmm. And it takes time to find what works for you and what doesn't. And trust me, there's been plenty of times that I've tried things and I'm like, this, okay, this obviously didn't work because I'm yeah. looking back and I'm like, I didn't like what I did. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna try something else. Um, but I can speak specifically for this character and, and it actually changes character to character mm -hmm. because each person you are finding in the research you do, you're gonna do different things and you need to be open to uh, trying new things so that way each character doesn't start to be the same. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, uh, to me, that's part of the fun of it because you find all these different techniques, you try things out, you see what works, what doesn't work. And, and you can just fine tune um, a lot of, a lot of different techniques. Um, for me personally, and, and, in in this, uh, it is a little bit harder uh, in a sense of we don't get all of our scripts at once. Mm -hmm. So to start out, um, I specifically, I have a journal. Um, I kind of go through, I write stuff down of understanding where the season is and where, you know, we left off. And I, you know, I write down feelings mm -hmm. and where, how I, my relationships with people. Mm -hmm. um and how I angry react. entry on your dad <laughs> yeah exactly so yeah. it's like it's it you start writing and, it, and it's it, you just write and write and write and and it's just basically feeling so that way you're locked into it and you truly understand how you would react in certain situations 